during the course of leslie's investigation, news broke that media personality dr. laura berman's sixteen year old son samuel died after taking pills allegedly laced with fentanyl she and her husband sam join us now first off you know we are so sorry to hear of the tragic passing of your son thank you and thanks for helping us get the word out this actually you know try trying to get the word out there you know and trying to help save even just one child's life at least for me personally helps with the sense of helplessness you know it doesn't help with the grief but it helps with the helplessness and that allows the grief to be easier to carry how did you both find out that your son took pills that he got from a dealer from Snapchat? Well, his best friend showed us the menu that they downloaded from Snapchat or received from the dealer. He sent it to his friend and his friend did a screen grab and was able to share it with us. So we found out this beautiful, colorful menu that was available to the kids on Snapchat with a drug dealer who would deliver to the back of your house and let them sneak out. Wow. It never even occurred to me that drug dealers were on there preying on our kids. And, you know, we're here in the middle of a shutdown in Los Angeles. And, you know, I was thinking this is the only silver lining here is that both my teen boys are stuck at home with me safe. You know, I don't have to, I can just keep an eye on them this way. And we were wrong. How and why do you think that these pills were, were laced with fentanyl? Well, I found our son in the classic fentanyl death pose. Uh, the respiration starts to fail, their heart rate is down, uh, they faint backwards, they throw up, and they choke on their vomit. And that is the scene that we walked in on. Yeah. We'll know when the toxicology report comes back, but that can take a little while. Yeah. Right. Well, had he experimented with drugs before, to your knowledge? He had um, experimented with marijuana, and we were drug testing him. And these drug tests are available online very easily, and it's a great way for a parent to stay in touch with their kid um, drug use-wise, but it also may drive them to start figuring out what they can take that's not part of that test. And so it's a two-edged sword sometimes. Yeah.